Welcome back to the receive section of the York JCB 861 CB radio from 1981 using the Cybernet 134 chassis. Okay, having put the signal generator on and I've cleaned that volume control, so that's now nice again. We're greeted with it receiving nicely and it's 0.3 of a microvolt on the attenuator at the moment on the signal generator. When you're tuning up a receiver, I may not have ever said this, your signal generator has an attenuator. And it starts off in this case, our signal generator starts at 10 millivolts. And that's a whacking great big signal like plus 30 plus. And you have the attenuator, that's it at full whack. And as we turn the attenuator down, it's a matter of the signal is being pretending it's further and further away. Now that's 10 microvolts, so that's about S7. That's now 3 microvolts. That's 1 microvolt. Some radios only work to 1 microvolt. That's 0.3 of a microvolt. Then I've got a fine attenuator, which takes us right down to 0.05. Now considering this radio is just as it's come out of the carton from uh, buying it second hand in a batch, that's working beautifully. And when you're working on these sets, and when you're setting the, um, the intermediate frequency coils and the little transformers here, you need to have as little signal on as is possible. That's the only way it can be done. You can't do it with a saturated signal. So you're backing off the generator and you're backing off the generator as the set gets better and better. So our first port of call is transformer 5 on this chassis. Transformer 5 is there. I'm looking at a cyanide meter. I'm looking at the oscilloscope. I tell you what, we've just gained some there, despite this radio being so good. So I'm now going to back off the attenuator again. And here it's now more crackly. Put the tone back on. Now we'll do that Transformer 6, which I thought could have been transmit, but it isn't, it's received. There we go. Now this chassis is not fitted with Transformer 7. Sometimes on the more expensive ones that's fitted. And we've got Transformer 8. And Transformer 9 is not fitted on this chassis. And then we move on to Transformer 10, which I'll use the yellow tool with. I'm backing off the attenuator again. Move over to transformer 11. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going back to a 100 microvolt signal to replicate S9, and that's how we're going to set the um, detector, the FM detector. Switch the other camera on. Move my head out of the way and the light a bit, and turn the volume up so you can see the trays better. Now I'm going to adjust. Transformer 12 for maximum recovered audio. And look, we gained some there. If that wasn't set spot on, it becomes distorted to receive. So we have gained some, so that's brilliant. So shut that off. Whilst we have an S9 signal, I'm going to set the meter for S9. It's 
very marginally out. It's S8.5. Neither here nor there, but I will adjust it. And the meter is RV3, which is the preset down there. And that's now spot on S9 on the meter. So having done that, we'll now move over to the squelch. Switching the signal generator off. I don't mean off at the power switch, I mean actual output off. We set the squelch threshold on the radio. Like that. Signal generator back on. And it's come straight in. That's excellent. And that's 0 0.3 of a microvolt signal. Now we advance the squelch control for full on the radio. And then adjust the attenuator on the signal generator for effectively a nearer and nearer signal. So that was 1 microvolt, 3 microvolts, 10 microvolts it's coming at. Well, I'd like the squelch to be stronger than that. Because if you've got the bucket brigade in a city, that wouldn't be strong enough. Mind you, nothing would be strong enough for the 400 watt burners in Nottingham. It's about time the uh, authorities gave them a little visit. I must mention it to them. I'll just digress. Squelch is RV1. It's the preset down there. So we'll just start that one again. So I'm going to start all over again. Now having done that, signal generator off, set threshold. Signal generator on. It still comes in at 0.3 of a microvolt. Squelch on the radio to full. Adjusting the attenuator for a bigger signal on the signal generator, 1 microvolt, 3 microvolts. 10 microvolts, 30 microvolts it's coming in at. I still would like it stronger than that. So I've again just the preset, we start again. Signal generator off, set threshold on the radio. Generator on. Now it's just not quite coming in at 0.3. It's actually coming in 0.4. That's all right. Squelch to full on the radio. So we're at 1 microvolt, 3 microvolts, 10 microvolts, 30 microvolts, 100 microvolts. That's an S9. That's when the squelch is at maximum, and that's ideal. What you don't want, as I've said many times before, is you turn the squelch to full on the radio and no signal, however strong, will ever come through it. That is pointless. So there we go. That is set up and is working a treat. And the next video will be on the air with the York JCB 861.